So here are the drones. This is pretty cool. I'm so curious how these things fly. All right, so I got these all charged up. So now we're gonna just test them and see how well they work. Those actually have some nice power behind them. All right, so there's this one. All right, this is the throttle. So it goes up and down, okay? And then to have it come back this way, use this joystick, so you go like that. Okay. I'm gonna try it from back here. Did you feel that? Did I just shoot you out of the air? Uh, it's flipped. All right, so these things are actually pretty sick. For 13 bucks, I'm pretty surprised at how well they fly. And the fact that there's two of them, you're basically paying six bucks for two drones. So my plan is, my original plan was to take the infrared receiver and the infrared emitter and put it on an FPV drone. But after flying this, uh, these this actually flies really good. So I think all I'm gonna do to make this a laser tag drone is put an FPV camera on it. So I think I'm gonna mount that somewhere in here and I'll have to take this apart and wire it in to the board, wherever the board is. I'll have to find a 3.3 volt to 5.5 volt source for it. So I'll probably just end up putting it right on the battery pads because this is a 3.7 volt battery. So I'll probably just do that and then find a way to mount it up here and I should have an FPV laser tag drone. So I'm gonna take this apart, see what the board looks like and go from there. So the onboard camera is going to be this Eashin TX02. This is an all-in-one uh, camera and transmitter, so it just requires one power source. So I'm going to put the positive to the positive and negative to the negative, and this will be all hooked up. And that's about it. So now this is all hooked up. I'm ready to hook this up to this. So now it's just gonna be a matter of mounting this little camera to the outside shell. So I'm gonna put this aside. And ideally I'd like for it to just be mounted right about there. So what I'm gonna do is my soldering iron, I'm going to burn some holes in here and I'll be able to put some zip ties through it holding the camera. And I'll probably put some VHB on the bottom of this just to keep it that much more secure. So now I'm gonna do one more hole back here somewhere so that I can slide this inside and I can plug it in. All right, that actually looks pretty clean. Now it's just hooking that up to this and putting this cover back on. That should be good.
All right. So technically this should be an FPV laser tag drone. Let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, so moment of truth. I'm gonna plug the battery in and see if we get a signal on the screen. All right, so that's pretty sick. Uh, it does work. Uh, this is now an FPV laser tag drone. So now all I have to do is get a couple more of these and I'm gonna put some more cameras on it and I'm gonna have a fleet of laser tag drones. All right, so I got a whole fleet of these things. Um, different camera on these two than I have on this one. Uh, these are, I'll leave a link to these in the description. These are only like 16 bucks a piece, but you could put this on literally anything. You could put this on a remote control car, uh, helicopter, airplane, drones. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a remote control thing, but regardless, you can put these cameras on pretty much anything with a five volt source or a 3.7 volt source. Um, and then if what you're wiring it up to has smart audio, you can use these and get some on-screen display text. <clears throat> so I'm going to take these to work. Uh, a couple of coworkers of mine are also into FPV and uh, gonna take these in. We're all gonna put our goggles on and see how they fly and have a little battle. Oh, you got me. Oh, yeah, I did. Did I get it? Yeah, you did. Pretty easy to fly. Uh, I think mine's dead. Yeah, mine's dead. Nice. That was dude, fun, dude. That was sick. 13 bucks. Yeah. All right. So that's a lot of fun. In the end, these two drones cost me about 46 bucks with the cameras. So I originally got these drones from Walmart for $13 for a pack of two. And then these cameras are $15 Eashin all in one camera VTX. Uh, these are 15 bucks, so 30 bucks plus 13, about $45 in the end. Uh, the idea for this originally came from my girlfriend's cousin's boyfriend, Tyler. So shout out to Tyler. Next time I see you, I'm going to bring these with me and we're going to battle drones. But uh, yeah, hopefully this video helped someone out that was also looking to make laser tag drones. This is a pretty easy way, easy and cheap way of doing it. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So if you like the video, subscribe, like, leave a comment, whatever, dude.